except for a few anomalies, such as below 4 degrees Celsius water, most substances expand when heated and contract when cooled. For a solid, the change in any linear dimension, such as its height, width, or thickness, is called linear expansion. For example, if a rod of length L0 experiences a temperature change delta T, its change in length delta L can be found using this equation, where alpha is called the coefficient of linear expansion, and the delta T is in degrees Celsius or Kelvin. What do you think the unit of alpha is? If I solve for alpha over here, I get alpha equals to delta L divided by L0 times delta T. This means that alpha gives us a fractional change in length per degree of temperature change. The units for delta L and L0 are the same, so the unit for alpha would be 1 over degree Celsius or degree Celsius to the negative first degree. The change in length of a solid depends on the length of the rod and the amount of temperature change and the alpha. What do you think alpha depends on? Alpha depends on the type of material this rod is made of. For example, the alpha for normal glass is 9 times 10 to the negative 6, while the alpha for Pyrex glass is a much smaller 3 times 10 to the negative 6. This is why glass baking dishes are made of Pyrex glass. Normal glass is not oven safe. With a big coefficient of linear expansion, normal glass breaks when part of the glass encounters a sudden large uneven temperature change. For example, you can break a glass if you pour boiling water into a cold glass. This part of the glass would expand a lot while the rest of the glass is still cold, so it breaks. As for test tubes and beakers, not only do they have to be made of Pyrex glass, but also they have to be very thin, because they have to be able to take intense heat and touch a flame directly. Now let's take a look at this thing called a bimetallic strip. It is a strip like this one. It is made of two different metals, one on each side. I hope you can see that the colors are different on the two sides. Like in this figure. The two different metals have co different coefficient of linear expansion alpha. Let's say alpha 1 is bigger than alpha 2. What do you think will happen when I heat a bimetallic strip up? Let's see. The side with larger alpha expands more, so the strip curls. When the strip cools, the side with larger alpha also contracts more, so the strip uncurls. So this bimetallic strip would curl this way when heated, because uh, the side with the larger alpha would expand more. When cooled, the side with the larger alpha would uh, contract more, so when it's cooled, it will curl the other way. Since a bimetallic strip's curvature depends on the temperature, it can be used as a thermometer. For example, this piece is from the old thermostat in my house. If I turn it around, you can see that this curled up metal is a, a bimetallic strip. When I set the temperature by moving this lever, I change the curvature of the bimetallic strip a little bit. And when temperature in the room changes, the curvature changes a little bit also. Now this is a glass tube with a little bit of mercury inside and the two wire leads exposed inside the glass. In this position, the mercury on this side does not conduct any electricity between the two. But uh, when the curvature changes enough so it, this tube tilts enough, 
and the mercury flows that way, covers the two leads on this side. It conducts the electricity between the two and uh, sends the signal and these wires go to the AC or heater switches so it can turn the AC or heater on or off.